Will Chelsea make their way to the final or will Eintracht Frankfurt stop the Blues? Watch until the end of this preview to hear all of my thoughts on today's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my Chelsea vs Eintracht Frankfurt preview for the game which will be taking place later on today at Stamford Bridge in the Europa League semi-final second leg. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly, I'll be giving you the team news concerning both sides and then I'll be giving you my lineup based on the team news in which I'm going to give you and lastly I'll be giving you my score prediction which there is a twist to by the way along with Charlie Nicholas's score prediction. So without further ado ado let's get straight into this preview so getting straight into the Chelsea team news there's only one story concerning the Chelsea first team and it's to do with Mateo Kovacic, N'Golo Kante, Emerson Palmieri, Willian and Olivier Giroud and the first part of this story basically explains that Mateo Kovacic is expected to deputize in midfield in Kante's absence um, the second part of this story, like I've just said, is to do with Emerson Palmieri, Willian and Olivier Giroud, and that is that they are all in line to start. So that's the Chelsea team news out of the way. Getting straight into the Eintracht Frankfurt team news, there's also only one story concerning the Eintracht Frankfurt first team, and it's to do with Ante Rebic, um, Mijat Jakinovic, and Sebastian um, Hall, or however you pronounce his name. But yes, um... I'm just going to read what I found on Sky Sports, and that is that Frankfurt, meanwhile, have welcomed back um, the Croatia forward Ante Rebic ahead of the trip to London. His return could see Mijat Zekinovic drop to the bench, while striker Sebastian Haller is unavailable due to a stomach problem. But yes, that's the team news out of the way. Now for my lineup, and as always, starting off with the formation. Yes, it's going to be a 4 3 3 with that deep line playmaker involved. And in terms of the personnel in which I've gone with, I've gone with Kepper in goal, I've gone with a back four from right to left of Cesar Asloqueta, Andres Christensen, David Luiz, and Emerson Palmieri. I've gone with a midfield three of Jorginho in that deep line playmaker role with Mateo Kovacic and Ruben off this cheek just ahead of him, and I've gone with a front three from right to left of Pedro Rodriguez, Olivier Giroud, and Eden Hazard. Now, to be honest with you guys, I think that that is the lineup that Mutsu Sari should go with, because our squad is fairly limited at the moment in terms of the players in which we have at our disposal. I mean, we only have three wingers at the moment. But yes, that is the lineup in which I have gone with. Let me know if you disagree or agree with it down in the comment section below. And also let me know what your lineups are. But yes, that is the lineup in which I've gone with and I'll also do my best to respond. Now getting straight into the last section of this preview, which is of course the prediction section. And starting off with Charlie Nicholas's score prediction, he has gone with a 2-1 Chelsea win as he believes that Maurizio Sarri has made the top four with Chelsea, but he has never won a trophy. I was a bit disappointed with Eintracht Frankfurt in the first leg, but they never played overly defensive. They had Chelsea on their heels for half an hour. Maybe the tension will ease off as they have nothing to lose. This game will be tighter than most people will be hoping for, and surely Maurizio Sarri will play Eden Hazard. It isn't as though he is exhausted or has any injury worries. I think he will play and make the difference here. So that's exactly why Charlie Nicholas has gone with a 2-1 Chelsea win. Now to conclude this preview, I'm going to give you my score prediction, and like I said in the introduction, there is a little twist to it. And by the way, I do not have a score prediction, and I'm not going to predict this one as I think that this is a hard one to call. I just hope that the players go out and do it for the fans, and especially for, for Maurizio Sarri, as a win or a goalless draw would see him get another opportunity to win his first ever trophy as a manager. But yeah, that is um, the end of this prediction section, and that is the end of this preview. Just before I go, I'm just going to talk about the um, semi-final yesterday involving Spurs. And yes, you should all know that I do not like Spurs at all, but um, congratulations to them. They thoroughly deserve to go through to, to the final. I actually watched most of that game yesterday, and in that second half, they battered Ajax. Um, don't get me wrong, Ajax, they turned up as well. But you have to give credit to Tottenham, even no matter how much you hate them, you just have to put that hate, hatred aside. And David, if you're watching this, congratulations to you lot and to your family as well. It, they're obviously going to be taking on Liverpool in the final. Um, that's going to be a good one and it's 
it's good that the um, that the final um, will be contested between two English teams, which obviously means that the Champions League is finally going to come back to England. Um, but yeah, Spurs they they deserve to be in the final. I am still I still can't believe that they are in the final. I I did not expect them to get this far with the squad they have. I mean they don't have a lot of players, but yes, credit to them. Um, that is the end of this preview. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you all very soon for some more videos. Hopefully Chelsea are in the final as well, but we'll just have to see. Come on, you Blues, and peace. Get yourselves in the Europa League final. Come on, Chelsea.